Horns up and welcome to Headbangers Kitchen Keto 101, the series where I take you by the hand and help you step by step on your keto journey. Today's video is something that I have been wanting to make for a very long time and uh, I'm finally making it for you guys today. And as you can tell by the title, it's pretty straightforward, but it's something that needs to be addressed. Now, whether we like it or not, the keto diet has become all the rage in the world today. It is super popular. It is probably one of the most frequently searched for diets on the internet. And that will explain why you can pretty much buy anything keto today. I mean, there are companies selling you keto supplements, keto ice cream, keto cookies, keto protein shakes, keto meals, keto services, exogenous ketones. You name it and there is a keto product available for it. Which is fine. That's the way the cookie crumbles, I guess. You know, the keto cookie that is. And there's nothing you can do about it. It is popular for a reason. But however, with popularity comes a lot of misinformation. I get a lot of DMs on my Instagram because that's where I'm most accessible with people asking me things like I want to lose 10 kilos in one month on keto or what is the most amount of weight I can lose in one week and it's always about weight loss. You know, obviously not everyone is doing keto for weight loss but when something becomes so popular it's normally for the least important thing, which is weight loss. So many people are out there trying the keto diet in the hope to lose weight. And that's not a bad thing, but the problem is the mindset that people come in with. I think people have this mindset that, look, I'm a certain weight and I want to do some kind of a diet and lose that weight. And then when I reach that weight, my life will be set. I will not have to worry about my fitness or my health. I'll just be able to eat normal food or eat whatever I want. And that is, that could not be further from the truth. You know what I mean? So what I'm trying to say, my friends, is this. Your weight loss journey does not end when you reach a certain weight on the scale. Your weight loss journey ends the day you die. Yes, I know that sounds pretty morbid, but here's the, I mean, it's the truth. You're never going to reach a weight and stay there for the rest of your life. You know, I know we all have that one friend who looks healthy, eats anything he or she wants and never puts on weight. And I think all of us aspire to be like that, but we're not. You know, some people can eat a bag of cookies and not gain even an ounce. Some of us, you smell the cookie and you've already put on a kilo. So you got to realize that we're all different and your fitness journey and your weight loss is never going to be the same as someone else, which is why your fitness journey will end when you end. So what am I trying to say with this video? What I'm trying to say is that it's important for you to realize that and not look at weight loss as a kind of race that you're trying to complete because there is no end goal. Unfortunately, you know, I've spoken about the goal weight delusion you know people have this number in their head where they're like if i'm x number of you know pounds or kilos on the scale that's my goal but it doesn't end there right you still have to maintain that weight and you still have to live the rest of your life keeping sure or making sure that you don't whatever gain too much more weight or whatever that's your goal that you have to set but that goal ends when you end in fact, I've done a video about this called the goal weight delusion. If you click here on the I button, you can watch that video. So what I would like to end this video with is I think diet and exercise are the two components of your well-being. If you don't exercise now, I think you should start exercising at some point in your life because it will help you and it will benefit your health and your diet. Now, when it comes to diets, I am not trying to sell you keto. So for me personally, I don't care if you do keto or you do vegan or paleo or any diet that suits you. What I care about is that you find a diet that is sustainable for you. Something that you can see yourself doing long term. For many people, that diet is the keto diet. For many people, it's not. And that's okay. We're all wired differently. Our bodies react differently to everything. 
for some of you maybe low carb makes more sense because it allows you flexibility for some of you you may just eat carbs and eat healthy whole foods and real foods and just do intermittent fasting some of you may be carnivore some of you may be vegan some of you may be paleo whatever it is i don't care find what works for you find the diet which can be your lifestyle rather than a diet that you do for a couple of weeks to lose weight having said that i know people are still going to want to try and lose weight on keto and want to do keto to lose weight and that's okay my friends you know keto can be the starting point for you because it can inspire you to overall pick a healthier lifestyle maybe you do keto for a month or two and lose a little bit of weight which motivates you to eat healthier to exercise to do something with yourself and basically yeah live a good happy and healthy life right so that's enough jibber jabber from me if you guys have any questions about keto or anything else feel free to leave me a comment below and i'll try and answer it in fact if i get a couple of good questions i'll do more videos like these and anyway till the next episode cheers and keep ketoing Hey folks, if you like this video, please give it the thumbs up and subscribe to Headbangers Kitchen. Also, please keep watching Headbangers Kitchen recipe videos. Yeah, they're tasty. Yum, yum, yum.